We turn now to California's recall election. It's less than two weeks away, and today a poll released by the nonprofit Public Policy Institute of California shows an overwhelming percentage of Californians oppose the recall. The survey conducted from August 20th through the 29th found 39% of likely voters plan to vote yes on the recall, but 58% of respondents say they'll vote no. The results were the topic of discussion today during the Public Policy Institute's virtual speaker series. We're sort of in this unknown, uncharted territory here. And so I think, you know, it's the race we've seen polling and, you know, the polling that came out um, last night or today, it seems like, you know, things are going in Governor Newsom's favor. But, you know, if you look at the vote by mail that's been turned in, you know, young people and Latinos are not voting at the numbers that he needs. So he does have some weaknesses. So I think the thing is, like, we can't predict anything at this moment. In the final days of the campaign, candidates are trying to win over the voters. ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns gives us an update on Governor Newsom and some of the leading opponents. Campaigning in San Francisco's Chinatown, Governor Gavin Newsom implored people to vote as soon as possible and reject the recall. Next 8, 9, 10, 12 days, you're going to see us all over the state making the case turn in your ballots. Stopping at local restaurants, the governor defended his record over the past two and a half years, including his handling of the ongoing pandemic. The states had better health outcomes than Florida and Texas, the United States as a whole, and better economic outcomes. Governor Newsom particularly called out his leading opponent, Larry Elder, for his proposed COVID policies. Elder held a news conference in Los Angeles Thursday where he attacked Newsom's record on crime. You've heard the numbers about crime going up. And not just crime, we're talking about violent crime, shootings, homicides, up substantially in Oakland, up substantially in San Francisco. As well as criminal justice reform. And under this governor, some 20,000 convicted felons were released early during the coronavirus pandemic. Many of them violent offenders, and based upon statistics, they're likely to reoffend. Another of Newsom's opponents, Kevin Faulkner, was also in the Bay Area Thursday. He made a stop in the city's Tenderloin District, where he touted his plan to tackle homelessness and highlighted the actions he took as San Diego mayor to not allow tent encampments on city sidewalks or public spaces. Why? Because we care about people. We care about people enough not to let them die in a tent on our sidewalks. But despite the criticism from his opponents, Governor Newsom says he's focused on getting the job done. I feel the way I did a week ago, a month ago, six months ago, resolved, committed, focused, determined to defeat this Republican recall. In San Francisco, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News. If you've already registered to vote, you'll get a vote by mail ballot. Perhaps you have already. If you haven't registered, you can still vote by doing a conditional voter registration. That's available as late as Election Day, which is September 14th.